Hello all. In this tutorial we will see how to create a new project and configure trigger bits for various operations. First click on file, click on new and give a project name so test, click on next and configure the product type so I have used a 7 inch M version HMI configure all the drivers and then go to the command and status under setup click on use command block and configure a read address this is just for example you have to use the unused registers and select the size so you can configure any size um, and we will be coming to this uh, how to select a correct size depending upon your requirements we will come to that in the next page so I'm configuring 10 and I have configured the read address as $u0 go to command block so now you do have the command word if you look at the command word we do have 1 2 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so we do have nine registers for this one so it takes the first register is taken from c0 so if you go to the general c0 is the word address range and it takes c0 to c9 so it will take 10 registers there because we do have 10 registers here configured so you do have command block so u0 is linked to c0 u1 will be c1 and say u9 will be c9 so if we come back here we can look at this one screen switching register will be c0 which is u0 say for example command flags it is c2 and if we tick this one this is c3 so trigger bits 0 to 15 is taking the value of c3 or the register c3 which means it is taking the dollar u3 value from here okay so we do have totally 32 trigger bits so we can even configure this one for example so trigger bit 16 to 31 c3 and c5 so that is u3 and u5 and now you press ok and you can go to data loggers for example and configure all the data loggers as normal but here you do have this triggered and you can use the trigger bit and then you will be able to say use say 0 to 31 you will be able to see so you can use any of the trigger bits so we have configured it as c3 uh, in the command and status word so c3 is actually u3 so the bit 0 means you, the register dollar u3's first bit okay and we can use the trigger bits in various areas for example we'll be able to use it uh, for the associated data loggers to collect data for triggering associated data loggers to clear their logging buffers executing event macros increasing the clock by one hour for example decreasing the clock by one hour logging in logging out asking the associated line charts to read and draw a new set of data asking the associated line charts to clear its content asking the associated scatter charts to read and draw a new set of data asking the associated scatter charts to clear its content so these are the different applications for the trigger bits and you will be able to use these trigger bits in all these different uh, specific specified applications so that is that and say for example clear buffer you'll be able to see you know another trigger bit so likewise we will be able to configure the trigger bits in um, a project uh, you can have up to 32 bits configured and you will be able to use it in various areas required. Thank you for watching this video.